hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video we will start designing this page right here using a framework called tailwind css so in this design we are not going to use any css we'll just use the tailwind css framework for designing all of this and we also have this hover effect over here now if you go to tailwindcss.com here we can see that it says rapidly build modern websites without ever leaving your html so when you design websites using tailwind css you can just use these classes like flex pt for padding top text center to align the text to the center and all these things over here and you can just click on this search form over here and you can just type the property that you need so for example if i want to see how to change the margin you can just type margin over here and here we have all these pages let's click on this margin and now here we can see the tailwind equivalent of adding the margin so you can just type m dash zero for margin zero pixels and you can find all these options over here ml for margin left and mb for margin bottom and so on so you can simply go ahead and check out this documentation now in this video we're just going to set up the project and uh, in the next video we will start writing the tailwind css code so let's get started <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called course card and I just have this folder over here called images and in that we have this image which we're going to use in our design. Now if you go back to the Tailwind CSS website and uh, if you go to the home page here we can see we have this link to get started so let's click on that. And here we have different options to install Tailwind. We're going to use this first option right here. So here we can see for installing Tailwind CSS we need to have npm. So if you want to use npm you have to install node on your system. Now if you want to see whether node is installed on your system you can just go to your terminal or you can just go to VS code and click on view and click on terminal. And here in the terminal you can just type node dash v and press enter. And here you should have this version number displayed over here. Now if you don't have this version number displayed and if you have some error displayed over here then it means that node is not installed on your system. You can just go to the node.js website and download it. So just go to this website called nodejs.org and here you have the download links. Just click on the LTS version and download it for your operating system and then you can just install it like all the other applications. Right, once you have node installed you can use npm. Right, so now let's go back to our project and the first thing we need to do is initialize this project for node. So you can just type npm in it and then you can just press enter and here we have some options to fill. Now you can just press enter for all of these and, uh, and now we can see our project has been initialized for node.js. So here we have this package.json file and if you open that here we have the name of the project which is the name of our folder and then we have the version number description and all these things over here. Right now the next thing we need to do is install Tailwind CSS in our project. So let's go back to the Tailwind CSS website. And here we can see we need to use this command npm install Tailwind CSS. So let's copy this command from here. And let's paste it over here and press enter. And now Tailwind CSS is installed in our project. So if you go back to the package.json file. Here we can see we have this... Uh, Tailwind CSS version number displayed over here. So Tailwind CSS has been installed in our project. Now here we also have this new folder called node modules displayed over here. And in that we have all the packages that we need for our project. Now you don't need to do anything inside this folder. You can just leave it as it is. Right now let's go back to the Tailwind CSS website. And the next thing you need to do is initialize Tailwind CSS. So for that you have to use npx Tailwind CSS in it. So let's type that over here. npx Tailwind CSS in it and now we can see we have this new file created over here called tailwind.config.js and in that we have this code and now here we need to add the files that we're going to use in our project so let's go back to this uh, page and let's copy this from here and let's paste it over here in the content and now here we'll create a new folder called src and now let's go back to the website and if you scroll down here we can see we need to have a CSS file and we need to copy these three lines of code. So let's copy these three lines of code 
and let's go back and uh, in the src let's create a file called input.css and let's paste the code over here and now let's go back to the website and now we need to run this command right here to generate the tailwind css code and add it to our main css file so first of all let's create a css file let's go over here to our project and let's create a new folder and i'll just name it public and now in this public folder let's create an html file let's name it index.html and let's also create a css file i'll just name it style.css now what we will do is we will generate the tailwind css code and add it to this style.css file and we will link this style.css file in this html file so here first of all in the html i'll just add some basic code so i just press exclamation and press tab and uh, you will have this basic html file code and let's link the css file over here so i'll just type link and press tab and here in the sf i'll just type style.css right now let's go back to the website and we need to run this command right here to generate the tailwind css code to our style.css file so here in the terminal let's type npx tailwind css and then we need to type hyphen i for the input and the input is gonna be this file right here input.css which is inside the src folder so let's type dot forward slash src forward slash input.css and then we need to add the output so let's type hyphen o and for the output we need to add this style.css file so it is inside this public folder so let's type dot forward slash public forward slash style.css and then you can also use this option called watch to update the tailwind css file whenever we make any changes in the html file so let's type hyphen hyphen watch and let's press enter and now if you go back to the style.css file here we can see all the css has been generated by tailwind css now when we add new utility classes to the html file new code will be generated over here so let's try that let's create an h1 and let's type hello and here let's add a class and here i'll just type text red 500 and here we can see these suggestions are displayed over here that's because i have an extension installed so if you go to extensions here we have this extension called tailwind css intellisense so you can just search for this extension over here and install it and here we can see we have a warning it says no utility classes were detected in your source files so let's check the content inside our tailwind css configuration let's go back to tailwindconfig.js and here we can see the content is set to src we need to set it to public because this is where our utility classes are so just change this to public right now let's save it right now let's open this in our browser so i have this extension called live server installed in vs code so you can just install this extension and once you install that you can just right click in the html and click on open with live server and now here we can see we have this red color displayed for the text now let's also change the font size so just type text 5xl now if you don't know any of these uh, classes you can just go to the tailwind website and uh, just search for it over here so you can just type font size and you can just click on this and here you have all the classes you can use so now we can see that the tailwind css code is working all right we have the red color the font is set to bold and we also have the font size set to 5xl so that's basically how you can set up a tailwind project all right so that's it for this video in the next video we will start designing this page right here using tailwind css so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,